Welcome folks, I'm Ivy Rivera, Psychic Medium. I'm a Taino Arawak and I use a combination of channeling from Spirits in the Light exclusively as well as planetary movements and what the planetary shifts are telling me and my psychic ability to bring you your weekly horoscopes. So you want to check your sun, moon, and rising signs and these horoscopes are for Monday, October 26th to Monday, November 2nd. Have a great week, everybody. Aquarius is what is going on with you this week. Monday the 26th, there's talk of two doors. This is interesting. One door is closing and another door is opening, but I don't really feel like they're related in any way. It depends. Sun, moon, or rising. For some of you, maybe they are, but it looked to me like a door was opening in regards to an opportunity, a breakthrough, uh, work, you know, something that you've been wanting or needing. And I felt uh, another door um, being closed. The thing with that door is it seems that it was already closed or you already started the process on setting boundaries or letting go of something that is no longer serving you either in a situation or relationship. And I think that it's really important that we continue to close that door or if you already did, keep it shut. Tuesday the 27th and Wednesday the 28th and Thursday the 29th, we have a mutual theme on all three of these days having to do with distribution. And I feel like you're looking at your resources. I feel like you're looking at your money. I feel that you're looking at your energy level and you're trying to um, figure whether or not your distribution is everything that it should be in all of these different areas of your life. If there is an area that feels out of balance, out of whack, or like it really isn't functioning to the level that it needs to, it's very possible you're wasting your energy somewhere else or we need to redistribute. Now on Tuesday the 27th going into Wednesday the 28th, there is talk of karma being delivered. Front row seat to the karma show. So if someone did you dirty, you're going to get to see some payout there. We may also be looking at this on a larger scale. So we're talking societal, com you know, communal. Uh, we're looking at some type of a situation where some buddy who was taking advantage or was in a position of power is going to be, you know, demoted. The, the distribution of karma here is definitely going to be larger. And I think that you're going to somehow benefit from that. I also think that it's more intimate to your actual zodiac sign. So again, some moon arising, it depends. Um, and it also depends on whether or not you're the one receiving the karmic kickback. So if you had done anything wrong and you had refused to correct it, we will be seeing that delivery coming. On Wednesday the 28th into Thursday the 29th, we're looking at a mutual theme on both of those days, having to do with resolution in some area of your life that you were hoping to have closure on. And for some of you, it feels like an increase in love partnership. It could also be an increase in any kind of a relationship that is really significant to you and having some resolution there. Friday the 30th into Saturday the 31st and Sunday, November 1st. Happy November, everybody. We are looking at you as a caterpillar. Um, you're going to be hearing a lot from your ancestors and guides on all three of those days because they are using animal totems here in your horoscope this week. So caterpillar, what does it mean? It is a symbol of you hoping to eventually be able to come out of your cocoon and spread your wings and become a butterfly. But right now you're in that phase, not even to the pupa phase yet. You are still in the caterpillar phase, which means it's time for you to work hard. It's time for you to eat a lot. It's time for you essentially to keep on. Okay. Keep on keeping on with what's good. Um, the change will be coming. Um, but there is a lot of opportunity for you to grow a lot as a caterpillar on all three of those days, so to speak. Now on Friday, the 30th, they're referring to you as being a deer. Now, a deer represents strength and wisdom. It's also about endurance and its sensitivity toward others. It's a symbol of humanity. On Sunday the 1st, we have you as a frog, okay? So again, your spirit guides and your ancestors are going to be using a lot of animals around you. Animal totems, signs, symbols, dreams. Pay attention to these. Keep looking them up. But a frog is symbolic of 
um, happiness, they can also be a little bit mischievous. Um, they are symbolic of um, an ability to endure, but also be resourceful. And if you think about their adaptability, they can go from water to land and things like this. Um, I feel it being a fun day for you. I also feel a need for you to be adaptable and look on the bright side of things. Monday the 2nd, there's talk of your finances, wisdom, and you needing to look at what's been swept under the carpet, skeletons in the closet, unfinished business. If there's something that hasn't been dealt with, it will be coming to the surface and I do feel that it can affect you positively with your resources going forward, but you do need to apply wisdom. You may also find yourself in a position to receive wisdom on that day and to also give it out. Now, there is talk later on that day of you really evaluating everything and realizing that the power is very much in your hands, especially in regards to your resources, your finances, your work and career at this time. Aquarius, have a beautiful week.